Now that we have a nice little peaceful place to do some cool stuff, I thought we could read Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. So, Mr. Tiger Goes Wild by Peter Brown. Everyone was perfectly fine with the way things were. Everyone but Mr. Tiger. Mr. Tiger was bored of always being so proper. Good day, Mr. Tiger. Good day, Mr. Deer. Lovely weather we are having, I suppose, indeed. Now, children, please do not act like wild animals. He wanted to loosen up. He wanted to have fun. He wanted to be wild. And then one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. Does anyone know what it is? <gasps> he went on all fours. Can you go on all fours? He felt better already. Mr. Tiger became wilder and wilder each day. Roar! His friends did not know what to think. Peculiar. Wow. Unacceptable. Hmm. And then Mr. Tiger went a little too far. Do you remember what he does? <gasps> he took off all his clothes. He has no clothes on. His friends had lost their patience. Mr. Tiger, if you must act wild, kindly do so in the wilderness. <sighs> what a magnificent idea. So Mr. Tiger ran away into the wilderness. Oh, wow, look at that. Where he went completely wild. Look, he's running through the forest. He's chasing fish. He's climbing up trees. Roar! And look at this big field that he gets to go through. But Mr. Tiger was lonely. He missed his friends. He missed the city. He missed his home. So Mr. Tiger decided to return. And he found that things were beginning to change. Do you see what's beginning to change? Some of the animals are no longer walking upright. Some of them are dressed a little less fancy. Now, Mr. Tiger felt free to be himself. And so did everyone else. The end.